so what the city has done is they've imposed a 30% cap on the amount of property that can be rented out in these residentially zoned areas. They were promptly sued uh, by, uh, I believe it was the Institute for Justice, sort of the ACLU mm -hmm. from the state of Minnesota and perhaps some others. The city of Winona prevailed at the district court level and they won the case. That was appealed to the Minnesota Court of Appeals and the city of Winona prevailed again. And just late yesterday I was told that uh, the Minnesota Supreme Court has granted review in that case. It's a discretionary act by the Supreme Court. You don't get to go to the Supreme Court of Minnesota uh, automatically. They have to agree to take your case, and they take so few. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw one out of ten, essentially, is a good statistic. And here's one of them. They've agreed to hear this uh, Winona case. It has an impact in Rochester because I know of at least one council member who has publicly indicated a desire to follow the Winona lead and adopt a similar ordinance. I've convinced the council thus far, at least, uh, to hold off <laughs> until but, yeah, until but, the court system yeah. works its way and we have a final decision on the legality of the women in the ordinance. Uh, and so uh, I don't see a final decision being made until probably late this year. And so there's going to be a further delay in the 30% rule and city attorneys across the state will be watching this case very closely.